just in task file we are going to create and configure azure file share so before we start this make sure the virtual machine that we have deployed is running fine search for virtual machines and vm0 status running okay let's open the storage account open the storage account that we have created and under data storage click on file share and create a new file share enter the file share name easy104 07 share and click create okay so the file share has been created so open the file share that we have created Click on connect. Make sure Windows tab is selected. Scroll down and uh, copy the script. Copy it. Let me open the Azure portal in the new tab and open the virtual machine. Under operations, click run command, select run PowerShell script and paste the script that we have copied and click run let's wait for the script execution to be completed okay so the script execution completed so we have mounted uh, this file share in the z letter as a network drive Next, I'm going to run this following command. So this would create a folder inside that file share and uh, inside that folder, we'll be creating the .txt file. Click run. Let's wait for the script execution to be completed. Okay, so the script execution completed. Let's close this and now go back to the file share. So let's verify the file and the folder that we have created is exist. Okay, so yeah, so the folder name called is the 104-07 folder exist and inside that there is a text file that we have created also exist okay so that's all in this task uh, next uh, task 6 we'll see how to manage uh, network access for azure storage okay go to the storage account that we have created and under uh, security and networking section click on networking make sure firewalls and virtual networks tab is selected and allow access from select selected networks and uh, check this add your client ip address checkbox and save the changes uh, 
okay so the setting has been saved next open the new incognito tab and paste the blob as url that we have copied in the previous task so we that we see that authorization failure this request is not authorized to perform this operation so this is expected since we are connecting from the ip address assigned to the azure vm hosting instance okay so we have completed all the tasks in module 7 make sure to clean up all the resources otherwise you will end up seeing uh, unexpected cast